today we're doing Pilates inspired pregnancy exercises, especially for the second trimester when you may have a little more energy. This class is safe for all trimesters if you're up for it. We're gonna work out the full body as well as include a cardio section. I will be wearing a belly for demonstration. I'm not currently pregnant. I do have three children, but I will keep creating pregnancy workouts. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. To start, let's find a comfortable seated position. If you're more comfortable sitting on a pillow, you can to raise your hips a little bit, bringing our hands to our side and back ribs, keeping our shoulders relaxed. Let's take a big inhale, expanding into our hands and then exhale, pull your baby in, wrap your deep inner core muscles around your baby, inhale, big expansion through your ribs, exhale, Pull your baby in. Let's bring our hands to our knees and we're gonna start circling our rib cage around, moving through any areas that are tight. Going the other way. We can take one hand to the side, reach the other arm up and over, really ballooning out through your side body, making room under your ribs for your baby. We can take a big arm circle with our top arm. On your next exhale, engage your obliques to come up, switching sides. Deep breaths into your side body. Circle your arm. Exhale engaged to come up. Let's move to all fours. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists and hips over your knees. On an exhale, pull your baby in, round out. On your inhale, slightly arch your back, keep your baby pulled in, tip your tailbone up, look up, moving with your breath. Exhale. Inhale, look up. Let's come back to our neutral spine. We can take some hip circles. We'll switch in the other way. Coming back up to neutral, let's sit back on our knees. Let's open up through our chest, keeping your ribs pulled in to protect your core. Bringing your hands forward, let's round out the other way, dropping your chin. Sitting up tall again, you can clasp your elbows or your hands. Let's externally rotate our arms, lift your chest, ribs pulled in again. If your hands are clasped, you can reach your hands away for a nice stretch. Exhale, use your core to come back up, gently release. We're gonna come up to a standing position now. Let's take our feet wide apart to second position. We can take our hands up behind our ears. We're gonna plie down, releasing our hands out, keeping your baby pulled in.
Last one, let's hold here, palms up. We're gonna pulse and then flip our palms as well. Good, hands up again behind our ears. We're gonna bend to the right. Exhale as we come up. Last one, good, let's release up. This time let's lift our heels slightly off the ground. Plie down, up. Eight, seven, six, five, squeeze your quads at the top. Four, three, two, last one. Stay here, pulsing. Hands up again, exhale up, pull in your baby. Last one. Amazing, come up, let's shake it out. We can turn to our right. Let's take our left foot behind. Opposite arm forward. We're gonna move into runners. So we're gonna pull our knee in as we exhale, pull your baby in and then reach back. Staying nice and low on your supporting leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We can take our arms forward, take the same left foot, lunge back, exhale to knee up. Two more. Let's bring our feet slightly wide apart, toes are slightly pointed out. We're gonna squat down and come up. As you come up, there's also the option to jump if high impact is safe for you. Last one, let's pulse here. Amazing, come on up, shake it up. We'll set up on the other side. Nice deep bend in your supporting leg. Exhale as you come up. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good, setting up for our lunges. Exhale, pull your baby in, knee up. Last one, good. Setting up for squats. Reach, lots of length in your spine. Coming up. On our next one, let's hold. Pulsing here. Amazing, come up. 
take a breath. Let's take a sip of water and then we'll get down on the mat. Let's come back to all fours here. We're gonna move into some bare hovers. If you wanted to add a pelvic floor contraction, you can as well. Let's tuck our toes and then exhale, pull your baby in. We're just gonna slightly hover your knees. The closer they are to the ground, the more challenging it will be. Releasing down, good. Release your pelvic floor if you contracted. Big inhale, exhale. Lift, five, four, three, two, one. Release down, inhale, expand into your ribs. Exhale, lift, five, four, three, two, one. Release down, good. We can untuck our toes and we will extend one leg back behind us. We're gonna drop our knee down, extend behind, keeping your baby pulled in. Let's stay here, point your toe, pulse here. Good, moving into rainbow taps, we'll cross, squeeze your inner thighs, lift your leg up as high as you can, tap on the outside. Keeping your hips very steady. Last one on the outside. Let's bring it back again. Keeping your thigh very still, let's bend your knee, straighten. Bend, straighten, bringing your attention back to your core, pulling your baby in. Last one, bring your knee down. We'll donkey kick up. One more here and hold up. Let's pulse. Release down, amazing. Let's stretch out through that glute. Stretching out through the other side. When you're ready, coming back to all fours, we'll start with our bare hovers again. Option to add pelvic floor contraction, lift, exhale, Five, four, three, two, one. Release down, big inhale into your ribs. Exhale, pulling your baby. Five, four, three, two, one. Release down. One last time, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Release down. Extending one leg back. Tapping down, extend, squeeze your quads as you extend. Hold. 
Hold here, point, pulsing. Rainbow taps. Two more taps. Bring your leg back behind. We'll just bend our knee, extend. Six more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it down, moving into donkey kicks. Lift and hold, pulse here. Amazing, release down. We can take another glute stretch here. We're gonna come up onto our knees. If your knees are bothering, you can also do the standing or you can fold your mat. I'm gonna do this with no equipment. If you wanted to add one pound, two pound, or water bottles for an extra challenge, you could. We're gonna slightly hinge forward, shooting our hips back a little bit, pull your baby in. We're gonna do modified swimming. So you're gonna pulse your arms opposite, steady breaths. Release down. Now we're gonna do tricep pulses behind, trying to go high and then thumbs close together. Squeeze, lift, take a breath. Release down, good. Let's take our arms overhead, palms forward. Bring our elbows back behind us. Imagine there's a rope between your two elbows behind your back and that rope is shortening. We're bringing our shoulder blades down and back. That's a squeeze you wanna feel at the bottom. We'll release up, move our shoulder blades down and back. Keeping your core engaged. Pulling your baby in on the exhale. One more here. Squeeze. Let's bring our hands up slightly. We're gonna pulse in a W shape. Really trying to bring the backs of your hands back Good, let's release, let's shake it out. We can roll our shoulders. We've got a little bit more. Let's bring our hands out to the side, palms up. Exhale, small circles. Other direction. Now we're gonna flip our arms all the way around. Let's rotate from our shoulders.
Last one. Good. We're going to take our hands in and then push them out, bring them in. Really press through your arms. Feel like you're moving your arms through water with tension. Last one here. Good, release down, shake it out. Let's take a breath and another sip of water. We have the option here to move into a side lying position where you can get down on your side, lay right down on the ground, or we can move up into a forearm modified side plank. We're gonna pull our leg in and extend out. Exhale as you extend, pull your baby in, inhale as you bring it in. Let's do one more. Good, we can extend our arm and leg. Let's externally rotate our leg. Exhale, elbow and knee together. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Amazing, let's release all the way down now if you're up in your plank. We can bring our knee in front or foot up. We're gonna do some inner thigh work from our bottom leg here. So let's lift it up high, and then we're gonna do eight circles, just tiny circles. Let's go the other way. Beautiful, let's lift up and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release down. We can bend our knees here. Let's make sure that our hips are stacked. We're gonna open up into clamshell and then move into internal rotation. If you wanted to add a pelvic floor contraction as you moved into internal rotation, you can. So knees together, ankles up pelvic floor contraction. Fully release as you move into your clamshell and then move with your breath. Exhale, engage. Inhale, release. Last one, releasing it down. Let's relax through our pelvic floor. And if you're doing pelvic floor contractions, we can do some fast twitch ones. So we're gonna lift it in and up and then release our pelvic floor as quickly as we can and go. Amazing job, fully relax. Good, you can roll over. I'm gonna flip over to the other side. Always getting down carefully on your side to protect your core from diastasis recti. Again, you can be fully lying here down or we can move into our modified plank, bringing our leg in and then reaching up. Exhale, extend. Inhale down. Okay. 
One more. Beautiful, extending arm up, leg away, elbow to knee. Last one. Amazing, release down. If you needed a wedge too underneath your belly, you can always do that. Let's set up for our inner thigh circles. Stacking your hips again, pointing your lower leg, lifting it up, tiny circles. Let's go the other way. Good, lift and hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release down. Moving into our internal rotation here, option for pelvic floor contraction, lifting your pelvic floor in and up, fully releasing it as your toes come together. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Last one, take a deep breath, relax your pelvic floor. The fast twitch exercises are great for helping prevent leaking a little bit when you sneeze or cough or jump. And when you're ready, Amazing. Take a breath. Let's come up for a stretch and cool down. We can come to all fours, moving back into our hip circles. You can take really big hip circles, whatever feels good here. Let's go both ways. Good. Coming back to our neutral spine, taking one hand, we'll move into thread the needle, placing your shoulder down. If that feels like it's too much, you can also put a shoulder or a pillow underneath your shoulder. Taking a couple of breaths here. When you're ready, shifting back up to thread through on the other side. Gently shifting out. Let's take both hands forward here, keeping our hips high in the air, moving into puppy pose. This is great for optimal fetal positioning. Spread your fingers, press your palms into the ground. Armpits reach down towards the ground. When you're ready, we can walk your hands back in. Let's tuck our toes and reach our hips into the air. We can keep our knees nice and bent, walking your hands forward slightly into a modified downward dog. If your wrists are really bothering you here too, you can also be down on your elbows. 
If this feels good here, you have lots of length in your spine, option to straighten your legs and reach your heels towards the ground, but doesn't matter if they get there or if you straighten your legs. We can also pedal out through our feet. Good, let's release our knees back down towards the ground. Let's move into either a yogi squat or a butterfly. So taking your feet wide apart, you can also come through standing for this. And if your heels pop off, that's okay, or they can reach towards the ground. Pressing your elbows into your thighs, opening up through your chest. come back up through standing or place your fingertips forward and walk yourself forward. We're going to move into a mermaid position. So we'll have one leg bent in front and one leg bent behind and let's take a nice side stretch over our back leg here. Exhale, engage your obliques to come up. And we can turn to face our front leg and then just gently shift our weight forward just to get a nice gentle stretch through our glute there. You can keep your back leg bent or option to straighten it behind for a more traditional pigeon pose. Walk our hands in, shift our weight back. We can windshield our legs back and forth before we move to the other side. Let's move into our mermaid position on the other side. Big inhale up, ballooning up through your side body, bending towards your back leg. Exhale, coming up. Let's shift our chest to face our front leg here. And then we can slowly shift forward, feel a gentle stretch, and option to straighten your back leg if that feels good to you. Just gently stretching during pregnancy being careful not to overstretch. Let's walk our hands in. Let's bring our feet out to wide-legged forward fold. Again, it doesn't matter how far your feet are apart. You can also sit on a pillow here. Let's move our hands back and forth. Just gentle stretch. This is one stretch that feels so good to me. I feel like I need to do it every day. I really just loosen things up. I'd love to know where you feel tight and if there's any stretches that you need to do every day. Exhale, coming up. Let's bring our feet in. Here is the link to the rest of the second trimester playlist. You can save it and go back to your favorite ones. I also have a video here on all of the strategies to reduce risk of tearing during childbirth. You did amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today.